This is Barry Zelma speaking for Claim School Incorporated, explaining why there's no defense available to an insured who delays reporting his loss for six months, and an immediate notice requirement will defeat a claim if the court finds that there was no good reason for the delay. IHC Construction LLC and MA Rebar appealed a final summary judgment entered in favor of Westfield Insurance Company's declaratory judgment action, and a person named Wayne McClure who had been injured in a construction accident. In Westfield versus MA Rebar et al., a July 27, 2023 decision of the Court of Appeals of Illinois, First District, the Court of Appeals resolved the dispute between the insurer and the contractors. In 2016, IHC was the general contractor for a municipal construction project, and that IHC had hired M.A. Rebar as a subcontractor on the project. As a condition of its subcontract, M.A. Rebar was required to obtain liability insurance. In accordance with the subcontract, M.A. Rebar obtained the required insurance from Westfield and provided IHC with a certificate of insurance confirming such compliance. Wayne McClure filed a complaint against IHC alleging that he was injured as a result of IHC's negligence while working on the project as an employee of M.A. Rebar. IHC promptly notified its insurance carrier, Hartford Insurance Company, of the suit, but it did not provide any notice to Westfield, who provided coverage as an additional insured at the time. In July of 2018, IHC filed a motion to dismiss McClure's complaint, and after the circuit court denied the motion, IHC filed a third-party complaint against M.A. Rebar seeking indemnification and contribution. Approximately three months later, M.A. Rebar notified Westfield of IHC's third-party complaint against it. Westfield then sued for declaratory judgment, seeking declarations, one, that it had no duty to defend and indemnify M.A. Rebar, and two, that it owed no coverage obligation to IHC due to the six-month delay between the time that IHC learned of the McClure lawsuit and the time the Westfield received notice of that suit. The circuit court issued a final order granting Westfield's motion for summary judgment, the focus of the present dispute to the Court of Appeal is that IHC's compliance with the notice requirement in M.A. Rebar's insurance policy with Westfield, for which IHC was listed as an additional insured. The relevant policy language in the case provided that an insured is required to immediately send Westfield copies of any demands, notices, summonses, or legal papers received in connection with a claim or suit. Immediate, in this context, has been uniformly interpreted by courts in Illinois to mean within a reasonable time taking into consideration all the facts and circumstances. The circuit court determined that IHC's notice to Westfield was untimely because IHC had not provided a justifiable excuse for its three- to six-month delay in notifying Westfield of McClure's claim. IHC failed to notify Westfield with notice of the suit for six months after it received service of the complaint. IHC's only justification for the delay in providing notice is that it was attempting to negate the need for insurance coverage by seeking dismissal of the case, but that does not justify the delay. Westfield was entitled to be informed of the suit immediately precisely to allow it to participate in defense actions like motions to dismiss. IHC denied Westfield that contractual right by withholding notice while pursuing the motion to dismiss. The court concluded that the insured failed to comply with the terms of an insurance policy notice provision requiring immediate notice of any claims when the insurer did not receive notice of a lawsuit against the insured until six months after notice of the complaint to the insured. 
In my opinion, the insured tried to reduce its premium by moving to dismiss without reporting a claim, found itself to be its own worst enemy. Its scheme to save future premium increases resulted only to eliminate the insurance it had for McClure's lawsuit and lost over $10 million in available coverage and unlimited defense costs. Ignorance can be cured, but stupid attempts to save insurance premiums is simply not curable. And IHC forgot that the duty of good faith and fair dealing applies equally to the insured as it does to the insurer. This video was adapted from my blog, Selma on Insurance, which is available free to anyone who clicks on the URL zalma.com slash blog. Please, if you found this video or the blog posting to be of use to you, tell your friends and colleagues about the blog and the videos so that they too can subscribe to the blog and videos, all of which are free. And if you found a need for more and detailed information about insurance, insurance law, insurance claims, and insurance fraud, please consider for a very small fee to subscribe to my Locals community or my Substack publications. Thank you for your attention.